Hi right, guys, I bring you all Satoria greetings. My name remains Uche Naji, your style doctor, and today on Dress to Accelerate, I'd like to talk to us about a particular piece of clothing. I'm talking about the Hans Toot. That's it. The jacket I'm wearing, this fabric, that's what is called the Hans Toot. Let me tell us a little bit about the Hans Toot. The Hans Toot um, derived its name by from looking like the tooth of a dog. That's why it was named the Hans Toot. And in its early days, it was favored by shepherds. I mean, mo mostly shepherds. They wore it as outer clothes on their garments. But after then, the Hans Toot actually, you know, metamorphosed and started coming, being accepted as a fashion um, staple by the then upper class who wanted to announce their arrival on the scene of fashion. So that's what these days you can call new money. You understand? The new money, when they come to the scene, they want to wear a hunt suit. They want to own one. Um, and the hunt suit actually did not come into mainstream fashion up until um, the likes of Christian Dior, you know, put it on the, on the, on the runway fashion runway and after that poop these days you see a variety of not just patterns you see a variety of even colors although the predominant color for the hunt suit has been accepted as what I'm wearing which is the black and you know feel of white but 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 these days I think I've seen a hunt suit of coffee and brown <laughs> coffee and brown I mean that's that's just that's just to tell you how you know fashion keeps evolving and your ability to understand the individuality of style is what enables you to be able to pick a piece and customize it to fit not just your event but your personality now with the democratization of fashion the the hunt suit which was before an exclusive preserve of the upper class can now be found on high street brands and not just the likes of Christian Dior um, carrying it before. These days, I think you, you can see on the screen, some, some ladies are wearing from brands like H&M or even Zara, or like I'm wearing from Ouch. It, it's something that is really kind of affordable now to most people, but then it's only persons who are in tune with their, you know, sartorial side that will understand that, hey, this is a must have in your wardrobe. I always tell my men and at times women, that after investing in a navy blazer, there are two other jackets. If you must invest in, the hunt suit has to be one of them. And the hunt suit can come as a single-breasted or a double-breasted as I'm wearing. I actually have both of them. <laughs> Sorry about that, I can't help it. <laughs> so you can actually invest in any one of them, it's, it's really okay. Although I would advise you, you know, to actually try the double-breasted first for the Hans Toot. There's this thing it does, this, this elevation, elevation, instant elevation it gives to your style, like I'm wearing. Um, in terms of pairing them, most people tend to play safe and just go with the whole white and black combo. As you can see, most people wearing on the screen right now. But for me, hey, you can see me trying it with an, with an orange, with an orange chino, that's to show you that you can elevate it because these are like basic colors already. So for your bottom or even what you're wearing here, you can try out to play with colors. If it's summer, you give it a summer look. It's something great that you can wear during autumn as well. It's something that you can wear for basically all seasons. You can wear the hunt suit for all seasons. And so guys, um, I think that's all for today. I would like to know what your take is. I would like to know if you own a hunt suit blazer. I'd like to know if you're planning to own one and I'd like you to also tell me what can you combine this with. All right guys, so until the next time we meet again, I want you to remain saturally blessed as we sign out and remember to always dress to accelerate. Bye.